Hey everyone, Mojo Mercury here, and I actually am a variety streamer, but I mainly play Final Fantasy and RPGs. I actually used to then stream every Saturday at 10 p.m. I know it's kind of late. Welcome! Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having me. Yeah. All right, so go ahead and tell me your username, how long you've been streaming, if you're an affiliate or partner on Twitch, and then your average viewers and current followers. My name is Mojo Mercury. Right now, my average followers is actually 74. And I actually sat there and have, I've been streaming for about consistently three months. But I did start a while ago when it came to actually just doing some videos and small streams here and there of some raids. My, my average viewers is actually about two to five, of course, depending on the day. Some people may be out on Saturday, some people may be in. I just try and sit and catch them when I can. So let's talk about analyzing your data for a second. Do you look at that and how do you incorporate it into your streams? When it comes to actually analyzing my data, I actually don't do too much of that. I do it on social media when it comes to actually what hashtags to put, but I'm more of a casual streamer. So I make sure I feel what I'm actually putting out when it comes to the, both the game and when it comes to whatever we actually want to talk about in stream. I just try and stay consistent when it comes to posting and when it comes to hashtags on whatever I'm doing that actually is relative yeah so yeah let's talk about hashtags and tags what what do you use in social media or tags on twitch itself as well too on social media i usually use tags that um that usually are part of the day where if i stream on saturday saturday vibes oh. or if i'm streaming final fantasy or even just just release game honkai star rail i make sure that it's in there because everybody wants us to then see that game and a lot of people literally filter posts about that game and if somebody's streaming hey I just post about it and on twitch i don't use too many because i don't know actually what to put but i usually put uh the main one is actually drops everybody wants to get the drops for whatever game you are playing and while you sit and play they get a little reward oh okay okay nice so that kind of sounds like uh in engaging your audience a little bit we can go to that question how do you engage your audience, whether that's on Twitch or any forms of social media? Um, I actually don't engage my audience on social media, not too much. I usually apologize if I miss a stream or something like that. I'm not really too much of a social media person, but I made sure that my Discord is up to date. I've been learning a lot of rules about Discord. That's the main way I actually sit there and talk to everybody that follows me and subscribes to me on Twitch. I always sit and try and make sure I don't miss a message. And even if there's a lot of people at once, if I get raided, I put it in slow mode. Yes, so a lot of people may not like that, but at the same time, it does help you see who is posting and you don't miss anybody's important chat. Uh, all right, so let's talk about your go live notifications. What works and what doesn't? My go live notification, I try not to vary it too much. I'm not really much of a one quip kind of person. Funny joke, here's the one liner kind of person. So I try and keep it um, consistent. Like, uh, he, uh, click me here. You get the mojo, you get the mojo, the rival, the gods, or thank you for leaving no cases on. Something a little heartfelt and warming. I can easy keep and, you know, I don't have to change all the time. How do you personally get creative and stand out from the rest? Well, I would say I wanted to then do that with my art. My One of my friends actually is another streamer. She actually put me on Canva and I never knew anything about Canva. Yeah. I, I, I was just a wonderland of creativity. And at the beginning, when you're an affiliate and, or even below that, you may not have enough creativity to really stand out or you don't know how to translate that creativity into te into technology it's very hard so the basics on what i can actually sit and do is put my creativity on you know piece of piece of paper piece of art on canva so mm -hmm. at least then i'm unique already in step one and then my uniqueness slowly gets drawn out and kind of blended in as i stream and make videos i love that yeah i use canva all the time i love canva it's it's, it's yeah it's good <laughs> yeah uh, so how do you personally make friends with other content creators oh that's and see that's the thing that's why i'm not really much of a social media person because i am a very face-to-face -face type of person or mm -hmm. even 
call webcam and stuff like that because i like interacting with people i really do love it i actually attended a twitch con in 2022 in san diego and that was amazing i met so many tens of hundreds of people i was talking to everybody it felt so seamless to me because that is my strength but I know I gotta pad my weaknesses, which is social media and stuff like that, which my friend actually helps me out on. But at the end of the day, you, if, if, you're, if your strength is getting to meet people, there may be some clubs out there around your area or save some money and go to TwitchCon. You don't have to go every year, but every now and again, it's pretty good. Yeah, I like that. So my last question is, think back to when you made affiliate, which is literally probably two months ago, right? Or some somewhere recently, because uh, you yeah. just started streaming uh, to kind of like now. Is there anything that really helped you get affiliate? I dedicate all that to Coco Nada. She's actually one of the people that's actually coming up in your uh, schedule. She oh. she actually uh, rated me, which and the thing is, I still I still worked to get the hours to stream the days and stuff like that. I just needed that that push, and she pretty much just tossed me off the cliff and said, "Hey, you're an affiliate now. Here's the people you need and the constant talkers you need." As she said, to have it, and then one day I need the stream, and they said, "Hey, you want to become an affiliate?" I'm like what and i gotta sign all these papers too <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh that's so awesome honestly yeah and um you know a call back to my goal is the fact that what keeps me going is i keep repeating myself the reason i'm doing it is because i want to meet more people and it hasn't failed me yet i'm trying to at least stay consistent and you know make sure my real life is good too and yeah Perfect. Well, that was my last question. Do you have any final thoughts? Or are you feeling pretty good? Always make sure your real life is together so you can enjoy your internet life. Aw, no, I love that. Write that down, Holly. I gotta focus. <laughs> <laughs> do it <laughs> hey it's hard it's hard out there I, I am not gonna peg you wrong if you don't <laughs> <laughs> all right all right well thank you so so much i really appreciate you no problem thank, like i said thank you very much for having me and um just hit me up whenever you need an extra person for something oh thank you all right we're gonna say goodbye to youtube and i'll talk to you right afterwards okay definitely definitely all right bye bye youtube <laughs>